This is a test you need to pass. How fast can you climb four flights of stairs may indicate your cardiovascular health. Hi, I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the high octane dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father and your next cardiovascular test is as close as your flight of stairs. It's a great way to predict your longevity and to make sure you're gonna be healthy for the long run. Please like and subscribe to this video and leave your comments down below. I wanna keep making content that's important to you. New research coming out of Spain indicating that the speed in which it takes you to climb four flights of stairs, if you can do so under a minute, is a great indicator of cardiovascular health. Let me show you exactly what they studied. The study presented at a recent scientific meeting of the European Society of Cardiology compared the results of stair climbing tests to those obtained from exercise testing conducted in a lab. The 165 study participants each walked or ran on a treadmill until exhaustion with their exercise capacity measured in metabolic equivalents, which are METs. After a rest period, the study group climbed four flights of stairs, which is about 60 steps, at a fast but not running pace, then had their METs measured again. Participants who climbed the stairs in less than 40 to 45 seconds achieved more than 9 to 10 METs. Past studies have shown that achieving 10 METs during an exercise test is linked with a low death rate, 1% or less per year. Participants who took 90 seconds or longer to climb the stairs achieved less than 8 METs. This translates to an anticipated death rate of 2 to 4% per year or 30% in 10 years. Imaging of the heart function during the test revealed that 58% of the participants who took more than 90 seconds to climb the stairs had abnormal heart functions during the exercise. The stair test is an easy way to check your heart health, says Dr. Jesus Petiero, a cardiologist at the University of Karuna and author of the story. If it takes you more than 90 seconds to ascend four flights of stairs, your health is suboptimal, and it would be a good idea to consult a doctor. The big advantage of this type of test is its ease and simplicity. It can be done virtually anywhere, and you need very little equipment or personnel. If you compare this to a typical stress test, there's really no comparison in the ease of pulling it off. And furthermore, it's also easy to do repeat studies to see and track progress. However, the flip side of this test is it's not standardized. The type of stairs, the speed of climbing the stairs, timing of effort can differ. This method also significantly limits the evaluation of patients with limited mobility and elderly patients who may have more mechanical difficulty when climbing stairs. So what does all this mean? Well, I think it means a lot. It's a great way for individuals to test on their own to see if there's a potential for a problem. And if there is a problem, look, go see your doctor and make sure that you're getting all the right and necessary tests to make sure that your heart is gonna be working for the long run. Also too, in terms of an ounce of prevention, it's important that you never get to a situation in which you have a problem. It's good to always do the right things. And in terms of the right things, it's a long answer, but in summary, it's doing the right kind of exercise, blending strength training with cardiovascular training and do it consistently enough so you can develop muscle tissue and cardiovascular power. Number two, when it comes to nutrition, huge topic, but with nutrition, it is super important to keep your insulin low by eating foods that are higher in protein and good fats while reducing the amount of carbohydrates that would increase your blood sugar level. So when you do eat carbohydrates, it's mostly vegetable and some fruit based. Lastly, you want to do all of this with accountability and tracking your results. When it comes to cardiovascular health, your body fat is a huge indicator of it. Minimally speaking, your body fat needs to be under 30%, but that is still too high for most people. Under 25% is safer and under 20% is yet even safer still. Any questions, make sure that you're getting your body fat percentage checked. Hopefully today this video served you. Remember to like and subscribe to the video down below and leave your comments as I wanna make keeping content that's important to you. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the high octane dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father.